the Azanian People's Liberation Army, formerly known as POCO, was the military wing of the Pan-Africanist Congress, a black nationalist movement in South Africa. APLA was disbanded and integrated into the South African National Defense Force in June 1994. History Formation and early resistance POCO was founded in 1961 following the massacre of PAC-led protesters at the hands of police outside the Sharpville police station the previous year. Potlako Lebelo, the chairman of the PAC at the time of the formation of its military wing in the 1960s, modeled APLA on the Chinese People's Liberation Army, with Templeton Natala as his deputy. Members of POCO targeted the town of Pal in the Western Cape on the 22nd of November 1962, when a crowd of over 200 people armed with axes, Pangas and other homemade weapons marched from the Mabkweni township into Pal and attacked the police station, homes and shops. Two white residents, Franz Richard and Rencia Vermoylen, were killed. This attack was followed by the murder of a family camping at Bashi River in the Transkei on 4 February 1963. Norman and Elizabeth Grobelar, their teenage daughters Edna and Dawn, together with Mr. Derek Thompson, were hacked to death in the caravans. Leadership struggles in exile after the Soweto uprising in 1976. A number of students went into exile in APLA camps elsewhere on the African continent. In 1976, APLA received 500 recruits, including 178 Basado, for a new Lesotho Liberation Army, to be formed as an offshoot of the exiled Basutoland Congress Party under the leadership of Matwain Mapfane, who was a senior instructor of APLA in Libya. Tantala's original group of 70 APLA soldiers felt threatened by the influx of new recruits, leading Tala to attempt a coup against then-commander Potlako Lebolo in Dar es Salaam. This was prevented by LLA soldiers, a move which exacerbated tensions within two PAC factions, the diplomat reformist and Maoist revolutionary factions. Vasumzi makes appointment as Lebelo's successor sparked a mutiny at Chunya, an APLA camp in Tanzania, on the 11th of March 1980, during which several APLA forces were killed and the rest further factionalized and confined to different camps. Many escaped to Kenya. Lebelo himself relocated to Zimbabwe in late 1980 along with senior intelligence and Air Force personnel from the Mr. Faction. Pressure from Tanzania, however, resulted in his deportation in May June 1981, as well as the deportation or imprisonment of the others. Make was replaced by John Nyathi Pokal, but his ineffectual term of office was marred by further mutinies, executions and assassinations. Following Pokala's death, Lebelo made a comeback through support from Libya, North Korea, and Ghana. After his sudden death in January 1986, the Doctor faction, outmaneuvered by the ANC, fell into disarray leaving behind the legacy of a semi-national socialist political front. Attacks on white civilians after 1986 APLA rejected the Mr. Faction's concept of the guerrilla as a social reformer and instead adopted an ultimately disastrous rallying cry of one settler, one bullet. In the 1990-94 period, the organization became known for its attacks on civilians despite the progress in negotiations at the Convention for a Democratic South Africa. In 1993, the APLA's chief commander, Sabalo Fama, declared that he would aim in his guns at children to hurt whites where it hurts most. Fama proclaimed 1993 as the year of the Great Storm and sanctioned the following attacks on civilians. King William's Town Golf Club on 28 November 1992, killing four people. Highgate Hotel in East London on 1 May 1993, killing five people. St. James Church Massacre in Kenilworth on 25 July 1993, killing 11 people during a church service. Heidelberg Tavern in Observatory on 31 December 1993, killing four. 
In total 32 applications were received for attacks on civilians. In these incidents, 24 people were killed and 122 seriously injured. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission has presently charged that PAC sanctioned action directed towards white South Africans were gross violations of human rights for which the PAC and APLA leadership are held to be morally and politically responsible and accountable. Post-1994 in 1994, APLA was disbanded and absorbed into the new South African National Defence Force. Although members of the Mr. Faction refused to accept this agreement, attempts by Mr. Officers to regroup in Vietnam, North Korea, and China were unsuccessful, although links were maintained with the Tamil Tigers and Maoist groups in Nepal and India. Occasional propaganda leaflets distributed within South Africa focus on disparity of wealth and the issue of land.